Hello guys, again uh, this is the first day of this uh, autumn that uh, is uh, sunny and uh, as you can see it's been raining for many many days and uh, everything is uh, really wet and uh, really really wet, really wet everywhere. Today we are going to compare the two, my favorite two axes that uh, they are the Scandinavian forest axe and the uh, small forest axe from uh, Grand Forest Brook, Brooks. And so let's start with this uh, comparison. The first thing you will notice and I will show you better in a moment is the difference in the size. As you can see, the Scandi doesn't fit in the backpack, in my backpack, while I have the other, the small forest, inside my backpack. So the first thing is the difference in the, in the length of the handle. As I was saying, the first difference is the size, the length of the, the X. This is the Scandinavian forest and uh, as you can see it doesn't fit in my backpack while this other inside is the small forest. As you can see, the the head of the these two axes uh, are not very different, and also uh, the weight is not a big deal of difference. Around, uh, I guess uh, I remember uh, two or three hundred uh, uh, grams. So the real difference, uh, the real thing that makes the difference between between these two is uh, the length, I guess, in my opinion, anyway. Uh, now let's see how they works uh, on the field. This is the the Scandinavian forest. It's difficult for you to to, to see this, but uh, I've made this cut almost with uh, all with my candy. This uh, bites, but the, the small force bites, but uh, not so deep. Anyway, I'll show you this better uh, when uh, I put this log on the ground. I finished the cut with the candy because I prefer it. usually do all the, the job with my axe only use the the, the knife for um, making feather sticks and uh, other uh, uh, spoons and other stuff like that so if you process all your uh, wood for the, for the fire with the axe you usually cut not straight. You will uh, end with a piece of wood like this.
like this. So to, to split it in the, in the half and use the inner part, you can put it vertically and split it. And uh, if you are in the in the back of your house, I I rather use a, a good mole instead of this felling axe because uh, the edge is uh, really thinner in this than in a mole. So the mole will uh, easily split with no effort for you. While in when you are in the field you usually put your log, log like like this. like this and uh, with a movement like this you put your hand on the head then you make a movement like this As you can see, with uh, three strikes, the log is cut. In this fashion, using this axe, you can use it the same way. But uh, I feel it mm, much less uh, safer because, uh, or uh, I use this position, I bend on my, on my knees, and then uh, I cut it like this. Okay. Like, like this but uh, I will put uh, much less power in it because this movement give me much more power and if I use this standing up it's much less safer you can always use it but it's less safe When you do this, you always use uh, a piece of trunk and uh, you have only only wood for base. So when uh, you cut through the log, the edge of your uh, axe will just uh, hit the wood, not the ground, not the uh, stones or, or other. Okay? Anyway, for this type of job, I really prefer this as you can see two strokes two piece really easy with this so if you have to to do much work and collect much uh, wood for your fire maybe for your your overnight for your night this is better, in my opinion. As I said before, to use this in a safe position, to use this in a safe position, the small forest in safe position, you have to stay on, or on your knee and use it like this. I don't like it for many reasons. In this, in this case, for example, everything is wet around me. So, if I go on my knee, I will, uh, I will uh, stay on the wet and uh, I don't like it. If I use it up here like this, I don't feel safe at all. Because if I miss, I will hit my leg. In this case, if I miss, I will hit the ground first. 
So I prefer this, but anyway. Now, let's try the small forest for this job. As I said, I'm not going to stay on the ground with my knees. So, I will lose this position and try to stay away from the swing. This, uh, the shape of this log uh, is not very easy to roll it around, but not a problem. Be honest, it's not a big uh, difference <coughs> between these two axes. I prefer the longer one, the Scandi, for uh, the safer reason, the safe reason, and uh, for my style of cutting, uh, I prefer that. But you can use them uh, anyway. Now. If you are going to use the axe with one, one end, keep it for later. To split the wood like this, In this uh, kind of use with one end, even if uh, both the axes have the shape of the handle, as you can see, to use it with one end, this is uh, much more comfortable the, uh, the small forest. For two reasons, for uh, the length, so it's not the, uh, it's much more equilibrated, this, and the, for the, the weight of the head. This is uh, heavier, and so it's difficult to make this motion. You have to use it with keeping this angle of the wrist straight, and then uh, using your arm instead. And uh, it's much more difficult to use it. And it's also less um, accurate. You can use it, I always use it. 
the scandy but uh, with one end is better this this is really better and also easier you don't have to stay right here you can also stay here and have much more power while uh, using uh, the scandy it's difficult to use it here you have to use it here so you have less power of cutting also if uh, you use the the X very often to make uh, to do this job to carve to make uh, a point I'm used to this to this I'm used to the standy but uh, for the same reason with one end for carving is better this so when when uh, it's the moment of um, limbing limbing a tree, the the small forest is better. Let's try. It's not a perfect piece, but. Anyway, this is better. This is better. You can use this, and uh, for the bigger, it's easier when you have a, a big log. You put a big log like this here you have a knot like here and make a good swing with this but uh, it's not so safe and uh, this is better in my opinion anyway this log is so wet that uh, the axe bounce on it instead of cutting you see same here anyway the edge of these two ground for brooks axes are perfect you can keep it on the field for uh, at least uh, one in a week or ten days just with a few strokes on the ladder and uh, this is a uh, little um, fat fatter I don't know if you can see it the difference it's not a big deal but uh, this cut a uh, little better so for uh, carving is better this uh, is better for felling as I said and uh, for cutting the logs like this like this one Also because uh, it's easier to swing using your your body like this. You see? How deep it goes goes into the wood. Four strokes, four or five, didn't count them, but anyway, not effort at all. And uh, to, show you, to show you the edge of this axe, just look at the cut. I didn't rotate this to show you this. This is a really sharp. Anyway. I'm not here to make um, a de de decision instead of you. You have to make your own decisions and uh, I'm not here to say this is better, this is worse. Uh, there are two big products, great products. Uh, they are um, 
really good quality, perfect quality, and uh, you can uh, use them uh, for uh, all your life without no, no problem. And pass. So um, the choice is yours. Anyway, I if you, you need something to put in your pack and. Uh, uh, nobody will notice it when you go around you choose this it's, uh, it's uh, perfect to to carve the wood to use it with one end and uh, it cuts really really well if you you live uh, with uh, small logs around you. Uh, this is uh, perfect. This is perfect. And uh, if you instead you prefer to use the axe for felling trees and uh, to cut logs maybe bigger than this, I cut really big logs like them. I've cut them all with my axe almost all with my axe so we, when you cut trunk like this or this or this and you fell like this the, the Scandinavian forest is better in my opinion uh, I always think that you can always use your knife for um, splitting uh, pieces like this you can button your knife eventually instead of using your axe but anyway you can always use your axe with no problem with some practice so <clears throat> uh, to fell the trees and to have more power this is better I always keep this with my with me even if sometimes especially in the summer I use this and uh, eventually also uh, sometimes uh, a small hatchet, the outdoor model. I love that uh, small axe. They call it small axe. Eventually you can also call it an hatchet. The difference is only that uh, usually the, axe, the hatchet is a, a, has a, a shorter handle, the, while the outdoor model as a, a longer handle so in, they call it an axe instead of hatchet anyway as i said these two products are really good quality and uh, if you, you choose one or the other is only up to you and you won't regret it anyway i hope this um, small review is uh, helpful for you to make your choice and uh, if you want to stay with me for a few other minutes I will uh, you will make my company for uh, the cooking of our, my meat